Why do you guys like your room? I don't. You don't? It's the drugs, the cocaine, the heroin. The drugs, That's the why cocaine, she was unable to raise me? Yeah. That's not true. We have the quote in the paper that you said that, Chad. I don't like that at all. Mm. When anything challenges her in any way, She's going to, as she, as she always says, she's going to shoot straight. First of all, I never used hard drugs, so I don't appreciate that. You seem really defensive about that. You better not f me right about now. I want to know you better. So does Chad. Is that what happens when you try to get to know her? Now you see? That's why I brought her here. Because when she, when she shuts down and says you, or Whoever else, you know, I just need her to meet me halfway or I just exit. You sure you want to push those buttons? I hope this bitch don't come down here with me. Not tonight, lady. Oh, I'm sorry, but you're here for your son. It's not about the doctor. Let's focus on your son. Let's not talk and be mean to a therapist who's trying to help you. I want to understand, Paula. You're not supposed to. Is that what you say to Chad? It's not your business what I say to Chad. It's my business because you're here. I kept running from her because I didn't want to give her the business. I took that quote from an interview Chad did with a newspaper. Don't come for me. She always talks about how well she can talk and communicate. Don't come for me. But she had a hey. shutdown. It's no, called, no, no, it's no, called no. a meltdown. You get what you get. And she loses it all. If you keep shutting down, Paula, you're never going to get closer to your son. You ain't seen shut down yet. <laughs>